Hey everybody, welcome to the Cross-Eyed Texan. We're back for another shave. And uh, as you may or may not be able to ascertain from the clip, we are taking another drive with the King C. Gillette. The first time I used this was on the last shave. Um, and I used the blades that came with it and they were okay. Um, they weren't bad. I had somebody tell me in, a, in the Wet Shaving Society that they uh, said that these... Uh, that the blades that came with it were Gillette Platinum. I don't know if they are or not. They didn't feel quite as smooth as Gillette Platinum does to me, but it could be just this razor. So for this shave, here's what we're gonna do. I wanted to try it, since it's so mild, I wanted to try it with the second sharpest blade I have, which are these, the Silver Blues, according to uh, Razor Emporium, are just about on the level with, uh, as sharpness goes, as, uh, Feathers are, according to their little razor blade system. I think this is four and a half blades out of five or something. But I found them to be quite sharp. And we are using Barrister and Man's Ocean for the shave. And this is my summertime shaving soap. As you can tell, I've kind of made a dent in this. I love this stuff because it's clean and crisp. It's salty. It has some great notes up there. There's some bergamot in here and all sorts of other things. But it's just a clean, crisp, refreshing scent that's great on a hot day. You know what I'm saying? So, another participant is going to be my Simpsons Trafalgar T3. I've been using my Yagi for the past few uh, shaves, so I decided to park it for a while and drag this out because I like using this one because it slings Soap all over the bathroom. <laughs> uh, synthetic brushes don't tend to hang on to the soap as well as uh, as some other brushes do. At least it's been my experience. So, the brush is wet. There's what it looks like. I'm only going to give it one squeeze. That's it. And I've got this little cheap bowl. This is a I think this is the second bowl I ever bought, but I didn't feel like using my big one. So we're gonna make us a lather here. Already tell we need some more water, and that's all the water I'm putting in there. Just a few drops at a time. I've said it before in my videos, I think we make making a lather more difficult than it really is. Just add your water sparingly till you see what you want. And if you do happen to add too much water, grab a little more soap. I mean, we're not making drags for fuel. <laughs> Although, I do have a rough time with sterling sheep. You really have to add a lot of water to that. And that's going to be one in one of our upcoming shades. It's going to be, you can see that it's still kind of bubbly right there. So we're going to just go a little longer. Oopsie. I sling this crap everywhere with this brush. But that's okay. I see Geo Fat Boy do the same thing. And I see a lot of other shavers who use these, uh, these type of brushes. It just doesn't hang on to them as well as, uh, as a, there's a little chunk of soap in there. But that's okay. But that was starting to look pretty good. I hope everybody has had a good week. It's Friday Eve, as I used to say. Well, it still is. It's still Friday Eve. So you got one more work day for most of you. And then, got a couple of days off. Mother's Day's coming up. Anybody got any good plans for Mother's Day? Doing something for your mom, taking her out to eat, making her some dinner. Something like that. Spending time with your mom. Do it while you still have a chance, man. I lost my mom in 2005. I miss her every day. Man, this soap is good. I, I highly recommend this barrister. And man, it's good stuff. Alright, so let me dry my hands off. Let me scoot up a little closer to the camera here. I've been noticing the, that the audio is a little weak. And I'm going to try to work on that. But I shoot everything with my phone. So 
I'll try to see what kind of stuff I can rig up here. But here we go with the Gillette Silver Blue. And let's see how this razor works. Ooh. Definitely an improvement over the blades that come with it. So this seems like it would be a good razor to have to use a very aggressive blade in. I like the way it makes this blade perform. I don't use the uh, Gillette Silver Blues in my uh, Game Changer with the 84 base plate. It's just too much for my little face. And I've, uh, well, I shaved a mole off of my chin. It's finally had enough sense not to grow back. <laughs> but those blades in that particular razor in the Game Changer 84 tend to give me a little razor burn. So unless I've got a lot of growth, I don't use the silver blues in those. But this thing is performing wonderful with the silver blues. Wow. Excellent. 410 subscribers. Really appreciate it. I've got a fragrance view coming up this week from a fragrance house from Brazil. I ordered one of theirs called Vert. And uh, I'm, uh, hang on. I've worn it a few times. I've got the sprays down. I know about how long it lasts on my skin, and I've worn it out in public now. So it's time to do a review on it. It's an interesting scent. But we'll concentrate on the shave for now. And I am really, really liking this. Like I said in the last video, this reminds me of an Edwin Jagger DE89 or a uh, Mula R89 since they're both pretty much the same. Although, I will say, I think the head on the uh, Edwin Jagger's better. So, if I don't keep using this razor, I'm definitely going to keep the handle and make me a Franken razor out of it. So, I would have pat my face dry real quick. And I want to run my hands over my face and, wow, and see how it did for a first pass. Wow. Performed great. My skin feels good. Let me wet my face again. I'm doing kind of a cold water shave because it's 90 degrees outside and it's just, it's just hot. And I don't like sweating when I'm shaving. So I'm going to scoop up a little more of that soap. It actually holds up pretty good sitting there in the cup. So, here we go again. See if we can do this in a two-pass shave. If you don't have a King C Gillette, I'd pick one up if you could find one for less than 30 bucks. And you could use this as a travel razor. That way, if you forget it in a hotel or something, you're not gonna be all fired upset. Like if you took one of your high dollar razors or you took one of your vintage Gillettes. You know, I I know the vintage Gillettes are pretty much a dime a dozen, but once I pay something for so once I buy something I want to keep it, I don't want to leave it somewhere. But I wouldn't be in too big of a twist if I forgot and left this razor at somebody's house or left it in a hotel room. Man, this stuff smells good. Almost there. I've learned over the past couple of years I like to have a good coat on, especially when I'm going against the grain. Let's get some of this stuff off the shirt. I look like a crazy person. All right. So I'm going to 
to Pascal with the grain and against the grain, and then kind of across it on my neck. Just gently ride that cap. I like the feedback on the razor. You can hear it. My nose is itchy. I'm going to flip it over and we're going to go from this side. tell people that I make shaving videos and they look at me like I grew another head and then I tell them about the wet shaving community because some of the men I know start asking questions and they're like wow I'm like I had no idea and I tell them it takes something that most people consider to be a pain and it turns it into something quite pleasant something relaxing something you can do to help yourself unwind instead of just rushing through a shave. And a world full of cars that shift themselves and ovens that turn themselves on and automatic this and automatic that, I think it's nice to do something that actually requires a little bit of skill. And yes, I did. If you're new, yes, you will probably nick yourself a couple of times when you first start doing this. But after you get the technique down, you stop getting ingrown hairs. It improves the tone of your skin. Oops. Now, I notice it's giving me a little bit of a fit right here, and I'm not real fond of that. There, that's better. Yes, there are better razors than this on the market, but this one really isn't too shabby. be a great razor for somebody to start out with. Good travel razor. Good daily driver if you have to shave every day. I mean every day. I don't, so I don't care. Um, this would be a good choice. But, let's rinse this razor off. Let's dry my face off. See how I did. See how this combination did. Hey, that's fantastic. That's really good. I missed a spot right here in the corner of my mouth. So I need a pickup right there. Just a little clean up here and there. Do you ever get away from shaving and get somewhere, you, know, you get to work or you get to church or wherever it is you're going and you touch your face and you realize, ah, oh, crap, I missed a spot. I just love it when that happens. <laughs> I think, ladies and gentlemen, that ought to just about do it. Let's see. Hey, close enough for government work. As my pop used to say. All right, so let me rinse. I'm gonna wipe my face off a little bit. Just gonna use the edge of the towel. It's hard for me to splash it on my face besides just 
makes a big old mess I gotta clean up. This works just as good for me. And got me this little Razo Rock Allen block here. And we're gonna dip that in the water. See what kind of feedback we get. Yep, a little bit right there under my neck. It's where I normally get it. How I went for two years without one of these, I have no idea. But I sure am glad I got one. I picked this one up from Amazon for ten dollars, and it's a nice, solid little stick. I dig it. Okay, we're gonna let it sit for 30 seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, or however long it is. <laughs> yep, I never expected this channel to get to 400 subs when I started. Um, the channel is actually focused on enjoying fragrances and shaving apparel and shaving soaps and things like that for people like me who are on a budget, people who don't have $300 to drop on a fragrance or even $200 to drop on a razor. The limit for me on that is about $150. I think, you know, $150 is a lot to spend on a razor or a fragrance, anything like that. But, you know, I'm on a fixed income. I got forced into an early retirement because of that. So I'm just trying to find a way to find the highest quality products that I can find so I can enjoy my shaves. I'm always looking for bargains, and when I find one, I will let you guys know. Like the Allen Block here for $10. I think that's a great deal. And to me, it looks a little better than Gentleman John because it's not a block you're holding on to. I like the little handle on it. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put on the matching splash. And what's great about this is if you are wearing a summertime cologne, if you're wearing something like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense, or you're wearing some uh, Versace Pour Homme, also known as Versace Signature, or you're wearing something like Chrome or anything, this is, smells good, but it's also very neutral, and it won't clash with it. So this is a good all-purpose, you know, summer splash. Man, and well, we almost dropped the lid there. Way to go, butterfingers. So that's it. King C. Gillette with the sharpest blades that I have at my disposal, which is the Gillette Silver Blue, it performed quite well. I'm very impressed. So I'm going to be uploading this video after I get my razors and stuff cleaned up. And here's a question I want you guys to talk about in the comments. How often do you clean your razors? Because I take mine apart every time. I don't leave the blades in them. I only use my blades once or twice because they're so cheap. Why? Why, why use it more? But I rinse them off and I towel them dry and put them in my nifty little hanger here that my buddy Tim made for me. Thank you, Tim. Um, I want to thank you all for watching. If you like this type of content, if you're a budget-minded person like me and you don't have gobs and gobs of money to spend on a hobby, but you still want to enjoy it, Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought about it. Leave me a friendly comment. Let's let's have a chat about it all. I'd, I'd enjoy talking to you. You guys have a wonderful day. And like I say at the end of all my videos, if you can't find a nice person in the world, then you go out and be one. Be the change you want to see. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. God bless.